Hey guys, take a minute to video if you guys in today's video. I want to show you how to change your airdrop name for your iPhone whenever you're airdropping to another device or someone else. Generally, if you're looking to do an airdrop right, when you click on the option to airdrop, usually the person that will come up will come up as something generic as iPhone, or which again is for you might see multiple devices as an iPhone and you can't really identify the person's airdrop name unless they're in your contact and they have a specific name already assigned to it it might not show up and it'd be quite confusing so how do you change that name well it's going to be really simple to do so in order to change the airdrop name for your iphone it's actually you can do this by going into your setting of your iphone so if you go into setting of your iphone and go to general and then once you go to in general all you do is go to about and then under this name here if you click on it it says iPhone which is every single iPhone by default it's called iPhone and that's not really generic uh, it's very generic and now it doesn't make sense so if you want to change it to something like your name or maybe something special for example if I put tech no entry here right no entry and now I have changed the name of it so if I do airdrop from the other device right if I do the airdrop something like this simple as that let's say I want to airdrop this picture right if I click on airdrop as you'll see here under this one now technometry this device shows up for me to be able to do an airdrop which I can accept just like that now same thing with this phone if I want to change the airdrop name and same thing settings general about and then you can change this to I'll say protect here whatever something super simple something of course unique to yourself so if I hit airdrop here it's, as you can see here instead of just iPhone the word tech comes up and I can click on it and they can also receive the airdrop just like that and it's a unique name and another thing to keep in mind is if you're airdropping between devices that doesn't have each other in their contact you'll need to go into your setting of your iPhone go to general under airdrop you can allow for anyone to airdrop you even if they're not in your contact for about 10 minutes you can do it to contact only which is recommended or receive only the first two are the most safe and then for 10 minutes if you're doing some airdropping between your devices set that as well and your airdrop should work with the, your unique name so I hope this video was helpful if so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.